When you study the multiple intelligences theory, which of course asserts that there are at least nine distinct intelligences that we all have to varying degrees, the question comes up, when should we be allowed to start specializing? When should we start to personalize our education and tailor it toward cultivating the types of intelligence that come most naturally to us and about which we feel most passionate? The current traditional path of education in the U.S. really doesn't allow for this until about the third year of college. But some people take a different route. And for example, two parents living in Los Angeles, Maggie Baird and Patrick O'Connell, they allowed their kids to start specializing very early. Hi, my name is Billy and I'm going to play a song that I made up with this guitar. They really allowed their daughter and son to invest the majority of their time into the intelligence that they just love. Play the song. No. Please. Ooh, what's that? That was kind of how our house felt growing up. We grew up with like three pianos in the house. Being homeschooled, having time in the day to make all that music. It was just this like gift that I was given of sort of time and resources. Which for Phineas O'Connell and Billie Eilish is musical intelligence. If they know what they said, go straight for my head, what would they say instead? Billie Eilish has become a megastar. <laughs> And this is a case, which isn't true for all cases, where her mega stardom is actually reflective of her talent and artistry. And she'd be the first to tell you that she is not alone in this stardom. Phineas is a musical genius. We added a couple other weird things. Billy laughed at something I said. and has collaborated with Billy on every song that they've put out. We decided to make it about our relationship and how we help each other and like deal with things together. Billy Eilish! At this point, Billy has won five Grammy Awards and many other awards. She's the youngest artist to ever win Best Album of the Year. I never thought this would ever happen in my whole life. You know, we just make music in a bedroom together. We still do that, and they let us do that. And she is just getting started. Aww. I love it. Musical intelligence is defined as the capacity to create and appreciate music. Music can be defined as the art of organizing sounds at varying pitch to produce a coherent composition that is melodious, harmonious, intelligible, and expressive of ideas and emotion. The 20th century composer Roger Sessions said, music is the controlled movement of sound in time. There are often many people involved in the creation of any piece of music. You have your songwriter, your vocalist, your instrumentalist, producer, sometimes a conductor, sometimes a sound designer, and each of these individuals is expressing musical intelligence as they contribute to the creation of music. And in rare cases, you have all of that wrapped up into one person. I created this album called In My Room, entirely in this room, in fact, mostly in this chair. Jacob Collier is a great example of someone who is mastering their craft. And as with every intelligence, mastery always involves developing an awareness of and control over increasingly subtle detail. One thing that I was very joyful to discover is that Every single melody note works with every single bass note. Hmm. So 
Do you want to demonstrate that? Yeah. So this is the note there. He reaches yeah. levels of detail that are just way beyond most people's radar. G7, G7 sharp 11. Oh, dude. And then G7 <laughs> with a flat 13. Right, A flat sus. A flat it's a beautiful thing. One thing I think is interesting is Billie Eilish's level of stardom is reflective of her talent, but there are many people who are also extremely talented who have no level of stardom and maybe barely any recognition. So obviously there's more than just talent to becoming famous. It involves the support from many people, very strategic marketing, etc. But there's also an X factor that's just very difficult to put words on. But perhaps the best word for it is originality. We love originality. It's at the heart of creativity. And Billie Eilish is definitely a very original artist. Her music speaks to people on a super deep level. Billie Eilish is just a great example of what can happen when we allow young developing people to invest ample time and energy into honing their craft early on in their development. Personalizing education early, allowing young people to stay up as late as they want as long as they're honing their craft, like Billy's parents did, might not necessarily translate to five Grammys by the time they're 18 years old, but it will definitely result in the person being advanced in a particular type of intelligence which will guarantee that they're capable of contributing something valuable and it will very positively affect their confidence. Every intelligence can be nurtured. We all have untapped potentials in each of the intelligences. And with the investment of time, energy, high quality attention, effort, we can reach very high levels at whatever intelligence you're inspired to develop. One more thing, one more thing. Thanks for watching this video. I really appreciate it. We're trying to grow the channel. So subscribe and like and comment below. <laughs>